My name's Clive Lodge. I run my own company, landscaping and maintenance on larger private properties in the Litchfield Hills. I'm sat here in Kent, Connecticut to talk to you about pruning and maintenance of hydrangeas. There are two main types of hydrangeas, fall flowering and summer flowering. And the pruning methods depend on whether they are fall flowering, um, like this paniculata type, or summer flowering, like the mop head types and the, the big leafed, uh, serrated, serrated edge leafed types. We're now in the fall, and so we're looking at pruning the summer flowering types. And later on, um, into winter, late winter or early spring, we will prune the fall flowering types. When we first look at the plant ready for pruning, these are the types of things we have to look for, the general health of the plant. Looking at this plant here, we can see the healthy, strong wood with large buds for next year's flowers. Down here, we can see the thin, wispy, weak growth, which we can remove. We can also see dead stumps of wood that we can clean up, cut right down to the base here. Any wood of this nature, we can prune out the dead wood from the top and leave the stronger growth down there. The fall flowering paniculata types, which are not pruned now, they're pruned in the spring, will be pruned as far back as you want to go to just above that leaf joint. Anything that's produced from that year on will produce flowers. So in theory, we can prune this way back. What we're trying to do with this plant is maintain a larger framework, so we prune higher up. It will always produce the same amount of growth. So if we prune to here, the plant will get higher. So the summer flowering oak leafed hydrangea, we're pruning now in the fall. What we look for is the old flowering shoots, which we can remove to the top of a leaf joint. What we also look for is any dead wood, damaged and diseased or dying wood. So these old stumps here that we've lost this year, we can cut them back to clean wood at the bottom. We work our way around the whole shrub, maintaining healthy growth, removing the weaker growth, but not cutting too deeply back, retaining a shape and size that's going to flower next year. The summer flowering hydrangea arborescence, Annabelle variety, popular variety, summer flowering, so it's pruned this fall. We've got to remember again, this growth here can't be cut too low, it has to be cut lightly, just below the flower heads, producing buds which will flower next summer. Now that we've completed pruning, all there is to do is to remove the debris from the base, any weeds, dead leaves and dead flowers. This is leaf mould which can be made from your own composted leaves, recycled and put around to good use on the base of your hydrangeas. This will prevent weeds from germinating at the base of the plant, preserve moisture and add valuable humus to the soil. We can dress the bottom of the plant with leaf mould, maybe an autumn feed and this plant will be good to go and good to flower next summer. 